So Jax and I started with a, a mural in Atlanta. We did a Outcast. We wanted to kind of, it was a beautification project of Atlanta. Um, and we decided Outcast, the kings of Atlanta, and, and kind of each of our books deserve to be sort of immortalized for us. His handling of my original image was, was so phenomenal that I was like, oh, we got to do it again. Right? I'm going to start to think about how I can like find something for you to do. And, you know, there was an opportunity to kind of do this at our Basel, do something. And I, I wanted to make sort of a more lasting mark. People come down here and they try and scramble around and see everything and see all the shows and walk through the fairs and there's so much coming at them. I wanted there to be a moment of just like being still, being able to come here and kind of have a moment you know, with, with Aaliyah. Jax is, is, he has an amazing style, right? But what I love about it is he honors the original photo. You know, for me, obviously, like being a photographer, it's incredible to kind of celebrate the, the original work and works that have like kind of sunk, sunk into the psyche of kind of this industry and this world and have meant something to people, right? So we wanted to take the iconic images put a little like sprinkle kind of twist on it, his own little magic. I asked Rashad what Aaliyah's favorite flower was. She loved roses. I was like, you know, what color? Is there a color? You know, like not to pry, but it's like, yeah, she loved pink roses. I wanted to add something to, uh, to really be able to give her her flowers. I wanted it to also stay within power and strength. You know, I didn't want this to be like some shrine where you're coming and you're sad. I wanted you to witness, you know, the strength that, that she had. I mean, think about what, what her journey looked like while she was here. I mean, it's got to be incredible highs and, and highlights and incredible challenges, man, that she powered through, you know? And it's just such a beautiful, I think, metaphor for, for where we are now fighting through their own struggles and to, to have her as, you know, sort of a patron saint of pulling through and dusting yourself off and trying again, I think is, uh, is really what we want. I did this photo shoot uh, in 2001. It was um, a few months um, before, sadly, she was called home. And I, and I really had to fight to be part of it. Like, I was the unconscious choice for, like, Guys, it's incredible, but my background is fashion. I was like, you gotta give me a chance. Like, let me have this moment. You know, I just remember the, the entire shoot, the, the range that we covered, and thank God we did, you know what I mean? Just to have so many different sort of uh, looks of her, you know, in the, in the all leather against like a car with flames down the side, you know, in this like Cuban bedroom scene of this creamy kind of blue, you know, like just different sort of vibes. So like, I love the range that we got. I remember really just how sweet she was, you know, like everybody saying that she is just this little angel, man. And I was like, I get it, you know. The studio that we were at was right on the water. And we walked in from a couple of shots that we had done outside in this like playground and by this car. And I walked in and I saw out of the corner of my eye that there were fireworks going on. So I just played it off like I had done a fireworks show. I was like, come check this out. You see, I brought you these fireworks. She's like, you stupid. You know, like, I just remember that, like, she took it in stride because she was sort of like, wait, you did something for me? She's like, you crazy, you know that isn't for me. I just remember that little sprinkle kind of now, I don't know why it's kind of popped into my head, but, you know, that was just a funny anecdote. And I was like, come on, we got a couple more, let's get to work and finish it.